So first of all, you can make a right click on the date and time over here. Click on adjust date and time and then make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, you can turn it on. Also set time automatically. If this is off, turn it on and then click on sync now. Sync now is important over here and then go to time and language and uh, language and region actually. Go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Also check outage or server maintenance. If there is any outage, then you might receive these errors. Now um, go to Arc Raiders X page and if there is any kind of maintenance over here or any outage, uh, they will let you know over here. So you can go and look here you can see uh, server issues. They will let you know if there is any outage. If there is any outage, then we have to wait. Now, if there is no outage, then still you are facing the error, then in that case, close third party application. Like if you have separate application running, you can close it. If you have Riot Vanguard, like if you have any other anti-cheat program, so close all kinds of third party application, which is running on a computer. Sometimes it's hidden over here. So you can just make a right click and exit, close all third party application and then relaunch the game. Next step is to disconnect and reconnect Wi-Fi. So simply disconnect and then you can reconnect and then you can check still not working switch to different network so if you have any other network available uh, you can switch to different network and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working you can use mobile hotspot now for this you turn on the data on the phone turn on the hotspot on your phone now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot now you can connect to your phone network so you can find the phone network over here and connect to your phone network and then check still not working the next step is to perform power cycle now to perform power cycle first of all shut down your computer unplug the power cable turn off the wi-fi router wait for a few seconds restart your wi-fi router connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then relaunch the game next step is to try google dns server now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel go to network and internet click on network sharing and center and then click on your internet and then once you click on your internet go to properties now over here select internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 and then click on properties and select use the following dns server now for preferred you can type in 8888 and for alternate type in 8844 and then put a check on validate settings upon exit click on ok close this and now you can relaunch the game now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working you can try this now for this you can again uh, click on properties over here and then select internet protocol version 4 properties and this time you can type in 1 1 1 1 and for alternate you can type in one zero zero one and then again validate settings upon exit click on ok close this and then again relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to uncheck ipv6 now for this again go to properties now scroll down and here you can see internet protocol version 6 tcp ipv6 if this is checked you can uncheck it click on ok now relaunch the game and then check and once you are done playing the game if you are able to play the game once you're done playing the game you can put a check back and then still not working follow the next step run the game as an administrator now this is important so make a right click on the game manage browse local files go to the game installation folder open pioneer game binaries win64 make a right click and then you can click on run as administrator and then you can check you can even start this exe file like start protected game as an administrator make a right click run as administrator and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program or if you are using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow and allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app browse all apps Go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select all the exe file. Pioneer game, open. Again, select start protected game exe file. Click on open. Again, browse all apps. Open this uh, Pioneer game, 
binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on browse all apps once again go back and then select uh, open this easy anti-cheat you can select this easy anti-cheat setup click on open now type in control panel do the same thing in uh, system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again browse and then select this start protected game open add it and then again browse open this pioneer game binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add once everything is added all the exes file are added now we can launch the game and then check still not working similarly if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you are using allow all the exe file to antivirus program still not working run this command so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator only click on yes to allow and copy all these commands one by one all the commands are provided in the video description paste it over here hit the enter key now once you run all the command restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working turn off or close vpn now if you're running vpn you can close it and turn it off and then close it and then check and for many users turning on using the vpn has worked so you can try both on and off and then check next step is to use ethernet connection so if you have a ethernet cable and if you have a ethernet uh, like cable and if you have the ethernet slot on a computer then ethernet port then you can use the wired connection and then check next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is correct on your computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click click on adjust date and time make sure set time zone automatically if this is off turn it on again set time automatically if this is off turn it on and then click on sync now sync now is important if you receive any error in red color click on sync now multiple times once you see the tick over here go back to time and language language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then relaunch the game next is to repair or verify the game file now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check the last step is to update the windows to the latest version this is important so you can open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connection error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel